Greetings and welcome to 5-Minute Scripture Reveal Bible Study dedicated to teaching the Word of God. Today we'll be asking the Scriptures the question, what is God saying? And listening to God's revelation knowledge in the form of commands, principles, patterns, and promises for us to live by. And we do this to defeat the spirit of doubt, discouragement, diversion, delay, and defeat brought to us from the world system, our sinful nature, and Satan. Today we are continuing our study of the raising of Lazarus. The whole scripture text is John chapter 11, verse 1 to 44. Today we are up to part 4, which starts at verse 25. I'll be reading the New Living Translation, verse 25 and 26. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live, even after death. Everyone who lives in me and believes in me will never, will never, ever die. Do you believe this, Martha? Now, in this verse, it's letting us know. To the woman at the well, chapter 4, verse 25 and 26 of John, Jesus identified himself as the Messiah. To the blind man, chapter 9, verse 35 to 37 of John, he disclosed himself as the Son of Man. But here, he enlarged the picture by revealing himself as the source of resurrection life. To understand Jesus' statement, we need to see it in two parts. First, Jesus explained the resurrection. I am the resurrection. Those who believe in me, even though they are dead, even though they die, will live again. Then he explained the life. I am the life. They are given eternal life for believing in him and will never perish. Notice it's all in Jesus. It's given to us by relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, not by following religion. It's all about the person of Jesus. The believer will not experience eternal life. The one who have accepted the Lord Jesus as their Lord and Savior, the one who has acknowledged their sin, confessed their sin, repented of their sin, and asked Jesus to come and live in their heart, will not experience eternal life. And only that person, and only that person that believes in all that Jesus is, the, the one who was in, was in eternity with God, forever, the one who stepped out of heaven, the one who was nailed to the cross, the one who died, the one who rose again, and the one that always exists and that has always existed. It is that Jesus and only that Jesus that we are to believe in. And only because of believing in that Jesus, the believer, whoever that person is, male or female, will not experience eternal death. Lazarus had been a believer in Jesus. Therefore, even though he died, he would live. Every believer who has died will yet live, and everyone who is still living and believing will die, but not eternally. We'll get to all of that in a few minutes. Christ did not promise the prevention of physical death, he guaranteed in himself to give abundant life, including resurrection and eternity with him. Christ did not prevent Lazarus' physical death. After being raised, Lazarus would eventually die again. But Lazarus had the guarantee of eternal life. And every believer has that guarantee. Biblically speaking, eternal life Eternal is forever, okay? Forever. Eternal death, biblically speaking, separation from God in heaven forever. Mark chapter 9, verse 43 to 48. Eternal life, join God in heaven forever. It is the quality of life that begins on earth here and now 
and continues in heaven. Romans chapter 6, verse 4. John chapter 11, verse 27, New Living Translation. Yes, Lord, she told him, I have always believed you. I've always believed you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one who has come into the world from God. Martha is best known for being too busy to sit down and talk with Jesus. Luke chapter 10, verse 38 to 42. But here we see her as a woman of deep faith. She, she operated in faith. When asked if she believed his words about resurrection, she replied, I have always believed you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one who has come into the world from God. Statement of faith. Her statement of faith is exactly the response that Jesus wants from us. What is your statement of faith? This confession presents a high point in John's gospel, for here we see a believer acknowledging that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God. In recognizing Jesus as the Messiah, she saw him to be God's envoy appointed to deliver God's people. In recognizing Jesus as the Son of God, she saw his divinity. Do you see God's divinity? Today, we covered John chapter 11, verse 25 to 27. You can find this teaching on youtube.com, channel Minister Panky. Thanks for joining and God bless. Mm -hmm.